What's up guys, I have a short breaking news type of video. James Wan is set to direct the Creature from the Black Lagoon remake. Well, it's a rumor and it's still in the works, so make sure to hit that subscribe button as we dive into this. First of all, let me just show you this headline right here. James Wan and talks to direct Creature from the Black Lagoon remake, obviously the 1954 classic, along with Atomic Monster and Universal Productions. Now, Atomic Monster coming into play to here, I think that's a really good move, and of course it's Universal because of the character rights. Right here it says he's developing a remake of The Creature from the Black Lagoon and is in early talks to direct for Universal Pictures. Now, this is huge because Creature from the Black Lagoon is one of the best horror films of all time, especially one of the best from the 1950s. And you know, it's a part of the classic Universal Monsters franchise. He's one of the main characters. The movie has never had any more sequels other than the original trilogy featuring Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature, and The Creature Walks Among Us. This franchise hasn't been touched by anybody since then, since the 50s. Guillermo del Toro, amazing director, has obviously paid homage to this classic monster in The Shape of Water, and he has mentioned multiple times how he has wanted to direct his own Creature from the Black Lagoon film. Even the legendary John Carpenter tried to do this as well in the 1990s, and here's some stunt pictures of the creature that we never got to see. The marketing has always been prominent for the creature from the Black Lagoon as Universal continues to push it as one of its main Universal monsters. And of course, I have a nice collection of creature stuff, and I'm sure just about every other horror fan does. So James Wan understands the importance of this because it has never been fully remade before. He has his foot in some amazing horror franchises like The Conjuring, Saul, and of course Aquaman, which was actually really good. But... It has to be right. This has to be good because the dark universe had failed. It was not good. It never really took off. The Invisible Man remake with Emily Blunt was actually pretty good. It was kind of away from the dark universe, and it was also the first time the Invisible Man has been touched or remade completely from Universal. With that being said, there's also Renfield that came out not too long ago with Nicolas Cage, and of course, we all know what happened with The Mummy from 2017. Not good. So in recent years, the Universal Monsters are still alive. And even Guillermo del Toro is doing his own Frankenstein film, which is up and coming. And there's also going to be a Universal Monsters theme park for Universal. These characters are alive and well, and they're going to continue to do so. But that's why it is important to make sure that this creature film is done right for the new audiences to see to go back and watch the original classic. This is a horror character and pop culture character that's near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, and especially, hopefully, it's good for Ben Chapman and Rico Browning. I hope everything falls through, because I would love to see a new creature film, but it has to be right. Thank you all for watching and listening to what I had to say. Hopefully, it, it actually comes true. The movie is made, and it's good. And uh, with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.